is in here. So we want to just get as low as you can, push back as much as you can, draw that belly button in toward the spine, nice and tight. Shoulders are going to go back and then down. So your posture is tall. I want you to feel your lats, those muscles right in that bra bulge area, pull down, strengthen, tighten, hold it in. Good. We're going to start with little pulses here. Tiny little pulses. Woo, you feel those legs like right away, right? Good. You are going to be working on some strong legs during this workout. But we're also going to work into the arms, into our core. Good. Pulls it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale. Exhale. Double bounce. Reach up. Exhale, little pulse. Really reach through those fingertips. Ah, good. Draw that belly in. Waking up, stretching up the body. Hold it at the top. Grab your wrist up and over to the side. Big side body stretch. If you're just hopping on again, I'm Katie of Love Sweat Fitness. We're getting into our bar boot camp this morning. Big circles. You're going to go down and up. Using your abs to move your body. And up. Two more in this direction. Last one. As you get to the bottom, we're going to change directions. Yes, working the obliques on both sides. Good morning. Woo, two more. Last one here. Heels back in, toes back out. Think nice and low. Hold it here. We're going to reach. We reach right and left. Right. And left. Imagine you're like smacking water. So your arms are working. Your lower body is nice and still. Pretend that lower body is stuck in mud, right? Concrete. So it's all from those abs. Two. Pull the center. Little circles to the front. Yes. Six, sink a little lower. Four, three, two. Bring it up and down. Up and down. Lift. Four, three, two, and one. To the back. Yep. So a little break on those legs. Now circle, circle, circle. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, press. So you're lowering and pushing behind you. In, press, in, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. We reach. So warming up here. Point those toes. Core tight. Eight, seven, two, six. Let's go, Pop Sugar. Four, three. Two. Back to that grand plie. Here we go. We're going to tuck the pelvis. Tuck. 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 Your hands can be lowered or at the side. Whatever feels better. You want to keep working those arms. A little rotation. Turning the knob. You tuck that pelvis. Woo. How are those quads feeling? Yes, I know. And hold. Right heel. Left heel. Right heel. And left. Can you get a little lower? Eight. Seven. With a burn. Six. Five. Four. If your shoulders are 
start to feel it, just bring it here. That's all you need. Two. Last one on each side. Now both heels up. Up. Eight. Seven. Six. We're going to take our first little cardio burst in four. Three. Two. One. We hop down and up. Just little jumps to start here. Heels in, toes out still. Woo! Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Shake it out. Okay, are we feeling warm? I think so. Pretty warm. So if you have those weights, you grab them. We're going to bring our feet to first. So heels together and in. Toes pointed out. Core is tight. From the side. When we bring our arms overhead, what tends to happen is we arch our back. Picking up the back. Tuck it under. Like squeeze it. You know what I mean? We're like, oh, I don't want to squeeze it like that. Yes, you do. Right now, pelvis tucked, squeeze it tight. Your weights are going to come overhead. So this is where if you have a candle, a book, something, grab it. Overhead biceps, frame the ears. Zip up your rib cage. We press as we relevate up on those toes. Press. Press. So I'm using seven pound weights today. Because again, I want to get a little more out of this. Building strength. Anyone that tells you lifting weights is going to make you bulky, it's not. You need those weights to create definition, to build lean muscle. That's where that change happens. Up, down. But again, it can be anything you have around the house. If you have just one heavy thing, grab it with both hands. Here, down, and up for eight, seven. Yes, you got this. Six, five, four, three. We're going to pulse it in two. Pulse up in one. We pulse, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Weight the heart. Feet parallel. Sit down and back. So think of a chair pose. Hips are down, belly's in. Drive those elbows back. Just a few to warm up the back here. We're going to focus more on this in a bit. Not quite yet. Three. We're going to bring it back to those triceps in two. Elbows high. Kick it back in. Normally, I tell you to stop at the hips. But I want to get those biceps warm. So we're going to add a little bicep curl. In. Push back. In. Butt lower. Good. Woo! Do you feel that backside working? Yes! Come on, Monday. Eight. Seven. Lift. Six. Lift. Five. Nice and high. Four. Three. Shoulders down the back. Straight arm pulses up for eight. Let's go. Lift. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, exhale, bring it up. Woo! All right, you guys. We're going to come back into those legs. And now that we've warmed up our biceps, work them a little harder. So I want you to take a lateral lunge, nice and low. Weights by your side. Again, if you don't have any weights, this is all about your imagination. You need to pretend like you're holding something so heavy. Like, you know, if you go to the grocery store and you try to make it all in one trip from your car, you're like, same idea. So like engage those muscles. Squeeze them as we curl. Imagine you are trying to lift it up so hard. I feel my muscles engage when I do that. They start to ignite and light on fire and that's what I want for you. Even if you have weights, do the same thing. We're not going through motions here. We're making it count. So nice and low. You come to center. Bite the curl. Knee up to get those lower abs. You go down and up. And up. So weight lower down on either side of the knee. Palms facing each other. Then we rotate up to bite the curl. Weight to the shoulder. Woo! Get those abs. Let's go. Down and up. Do you have eight more? Yeah, you do. Let's go. Eight. Seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, shake it out. You guys, you got that other side right into it. Same thing. We curl. Get low. Curl. As you lower, keep that chest lifted. You guys can take this slower too. Showing up. Giving your 100%. That's going to look different for everyone. It's going to look different for you depending on the day. But whatever you have to give today, right now, bring it. Down. Exhale. Four more. Three. Two. One. Bring your heels and toes out wide. Weight down in front. Numbers come into the hips. Sink low. Sink low. Get lower. Chest lifts. Drive through the heels. Pop up. Weight to the shoulders. Down. Up. You pop up. Woo. So I want you to focus on your lower body here. This is one of the few times it's okay to kind of go through the motions in the arms. It's more about the legs here. But you are getting that curl. A lot of the strength is coming as you pop up. Your arms are just helping guide those weights. Three, two, and one. Wait to the heart, we twist, twist. Maybe lift on the heels, or lift the heels on the toes. Get lower. Yes. Strong through that midsection. Eight, seven, heels here, these heels a little higher. Think Beyonce. Four. Three, two, one. Drop your weights. Keep your feet where they are. All right. You guys know I love a grand jack. We're going to start slow, though. We're going to step in, arms overhead, feet together. Step out, switch legs. In, out, in. So those heels stay pointed in. Everything zips up super tight. As you bring it in, get low, together, down, up. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold here, just pulse, pulse. All right, you guys, we are building. I'm going to show you where we're going with that next cardio burst. It's in, out. Come on, when you're ready, join me. Woo! Heels in, toes out. Grand plie jack. Eight. Seven, these are doubles. Six, you got it. Five. Woo! Four. Three. Two. Pulse it, hold it, pulse. Woo! All right, how we doing? You guys hanging in there? We don't call it barbecue no camp for nothing. We have one more set of those jacks. Woo! Catch your breath for eight, seven. We go right into it. Bring the heart rate down, right back up. Four, three, two. Let's go, Bob Sugar. We go in, out, out. Woo! Eight, seven, this is it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Exhale. Let's get those legs a break for 
toes to lower for two. Flex to lift and up. So this is a little break for our legs, for our heart rate. But it is not a break for our abs. We're going to feel it. Extending that leg, point the toe, flex to bring it up. Down, nice and slow. Up. Down. So the weights are just adding a little resistance. It actually, in a lot of ways, can help make this exercise a little more fluid. Help give you stability and balance. While also challenging you in a different way. Which is really nice. Go down. And up. Three more on this side. And up. Keeping both legs as straight as you can. Up. Last one. Then left leg goes down. We go down for two. Up. Draw those abs in. So while you're laying here on the mat, I want you to imagine there's a string around your ankle. The ankle that's moving up and down. And that string is going through your belly button down into the floor, and I'm hiding in the floor somewhere, so I'm super creepy, I know, and I'm pulling that string. So all of that strength is coming from your abs, right at the center, right where that belly button is. Draw it in toward the spine. Exhale as you lift. Inhale, point to lower. Exhale, lift it up. Keep moving. For three, up, good. Last two, up. One more here, and up, lift. Come all the way through, onto your hands and knees. The weights can sometimes add a little support. You do not need them at all. You can just have flat palms in the mat and a tabletop. Your hips back over your knees. Shoulders over the wrist. Belly button pulls in. This is when you'll start to notice this area getting a little lazy. Not because you are. You just gotta check back in with it. It's just nature, right? As you start working other muscle groups, the rest of them are like, cool, I get a break. We need this core strong the whole time. So pull it in, lock it in, check in with it. Get in that tabletop. We're gonna take great pose. So I'm going to start with my right leg extended out long to the side. As far to the side as you can put it comfortably. Then I'm going to be engaging my abs, my oblique, and my glutes. As I lift, you're going to feel a squeeze when you hit that top of the peak, top of the rainbow, and then cross. When you cross, I want you to squeeze your inner thighs, both of them. Just squeeze them together. Kind of like you have to pee. You know what I mean? It's like, pee. All right. Then you're going to lift and squeeze on the top and back to the sides. Go up. Tap. Lift. Tap. Good. Draw the belly in. Good. Or four. Three. Two more. Last one. Hold here. Squeeze those inner thighs. Keep the toe pointed. Then lift. Lift. It's little. Good. Little lift. Push into that mat. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Bring the knees together. Drop those hips. Maybe give little circles. Whatever feels nice. Then we're going to switch sides. So same thing here. Left leg extend long. Find your posture. Nice long neck and spine. Strong through the arms. Belly tight. Lift. Squeeze. Cross. Squeeze those inner thighs. Lift up. Tap. Good. Up. Tap. Lift. Tap. Do you feel the obliques working? Yes. Right in the sides of the body. Right around your waistline. 
here. Bring it back. Keep it crossed. And lift. Lift. Keep that tuck in your pelvis. We're not arching the back. Feel that inner thigh work to lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, drop the hips. Maybe roll it out a bit here. Send for here, working in those arms. Come back to the right leg. So you have two options. Your hands can be stacked right under your shoulders for more of a tricep push up. Work in the back of the arms. You can come as wide as your mat for more of a standard wide arm push up. It's totally up to you. So, this is what it's going to look like from your tabletop. You're going to walk your knees back just an inch or so, not too much. So, it feels just a little awkward. Shift forward so the softer part of your knee is on the mat. Extend your right leg long. You're going to inhale. Exhale, as you push away, drive that knee in. We go back, inhale, exhale, pull it in. All right, we have eight on each side. You got this? Yes. Inhale, exhale, in, back. You got this. Halfway there. One more on the side, you got it. Squeeze, extend, quick break for those arms, shake it out. This is a time if you want to switch up your hands, you totally can. So maybe you did triceps on the first eight, wide arm on the second eight, it's up to you. But switching legs, so now my left leg is going to lead, and I'm going to squeeze my glutes every time I bring that leg back, and I'm going to squeeze my abs every time I pull it toward my shoulder, okay? Eight on the side, we inhale lower, exhale press, knee to that elbow, extend. Woo, strong arm, you got this up, sugar. Three more, let's go. Squeeze. Last one. Squeeze. Back. Let it go. Stretch out those arms. Inhale. Exhale. All right. Woo! All right, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I am sweating. You know what's so funny? I feel like I'm sweating more right now than I was when we were doing the cardio. Because sometimes when you work in certain muscle groups that are challenging for you, arms, always a challenge for me, your body's like, whoa, and you get this intensity and this burn and this strength that you didn't even know you had maybe. And that's where you continue to grow, you get more motivation. We're not done yet. I'm gonna move these weights out of the way for a minute. All right, so you have the option to use weights here, but Really, I prefer that you don't because we're going to focus a little bit more on balance. A little bit of balance action, okay? So it's going to look like this. You're going to step your right leg back. Bend in that front knee. Your core is tight. So again, lock it in, pull it in. You're going to lift your leg. Woo, You're going to lift your leg and reach forward. If that's too challenging, you can keep your hands at your heart. But I want you to feel the whole posterior chain really ignite, so the whole back side, right? So we reach, think of like a Superman, but with one leg. Then you're gonna pull in, getting those lower abdominal muscles. Then you're gonna reach out and tap down. So you're just going back to where you started, but we're gonna take it slow with control. Looks like this, we go up, pull, extend, lower down, up. Drive those elbows back, get your lats working. Up, pull. Again, imagining you're pulling on two giant levers that have like 50 pounds at the end of each. Pull. Yes, so strong. Reach, drive. Woo! As you lower your hands, I want you to also press. 
Pass those pinkies to the side. So you're getting those abs on both sides. Tap, up, pull, back, tap. For four, three, two, and one. Exhale, shake out that standing leg. Woo! Feeling it? I know I am. All right. Switching sides. So starting to build a little bit more of that heart rate here from being on the floor. All right, same thing, towards side. Lift, pull, extend, tap. Pull in, extend, tap down, lift up, pull in, spread those elbows back. Finding your balance, gazing in front of you, about three feet. As soon as I say down, then you lose it, right? Up, pull in, and back, tap, lift, let go. Again, if you guys are just jumping on, and Katie of Love Sweat Fitness, in our car boot camp on, we got this, pull in, and back, tap down, lift, woo! Hey, booty. Good, we need two more. Squeeze, back, last one. Squeeze, extend, drop it down, shake it out. Woo! All right, guys. We're almost at that finish line. We are almost there. How are we feeling? We good? You strong? All right. So, I just did this one the other day. You know, I just loved it so much that I thought I'd bring it back to you guys today. So if you worked out with me live on Love Sweat Fitness on Friday, you're welcome. I'm sorry, I don't know. For those of you that are new, same. We're gonna see how it goes, it's a lot of fun. But we're gonna start like this, on our toes, heels in, toes out. If that's super uncomfortable, you can take a wider, more of a sumo stance, not a full grand PA, more sumo. Otherwise, we're up on those toes. All right, if you're gonna drop your heels, I just want you in that first to start. Pelvis taps, just so you know where we're going with all the time. All right, so you're gonna go up, bend the knees, zip it up, drop the heels. Lift, bend, together, and lower. Lift the heels, pop the knees, zip it up, drop them. So as you zip it up when I say that, I literally want you to imagine your body is zipping together super tight so everything is engaged in that lower body through your core. Posture stays tall. You can do whatever you want with your hands. Honestly, I just walked around the road that though. Okay, we're gonna lift these pops together and drop. <sighs> Up, down, together, drop. We're gonna do two more of these. Then we're gonna meet with our heels lifted. Up and down. Lift. Stay here. Pop back. Pop back. Yep. I want you to go hips lower, knees open more. So we're working our abductors, the outside of those thighs. Our pelvis is tucked. Posture is tall. Stay right there. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see where we're going next, but I want you to keep moving. Knees back. 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 For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. You're going to lower, so you sit that butt back and down. My heels are still lifted. And then I hop my feet back into a high plank. And then I hop my feet forward, my heels are still lifted. And I jump up. Woo! It's a burpee. It's a variation. It's not a grand pay burpee. It's different. Um, you can walk this too, guys. So if you're here, and you go into that plank before you step into the plank, you can step up. I just feel like why not be extra girly because our heels lifted the whole time. A little extra challenge for those calves. All right, we just have eight. Here we go. We go down, back, up, and jump. Down, back, up, and jump. Again, you can walk it up and down. Whatever you need, you're 100%. Let's go. Four, three, two, last one. Exhale, shake it out. Give yourself a round of applause. Woo! Exhale. 
exhale. Good. Bar boot camp, babes. Let's shake it out. On the toes. Let the heart rate come down a little slower this way. Just on the toes. Just find a beat. Arms up. Arms down. Exhale. I want you to purposely slow your breath. Exhale. Start to slow the feet. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Nice wide pant. Settle into that space. I know. Legs are tired. We're going to exhale. Drop one shoulder to the knee. Hold here for an inhale and an exhale. You switch it out. One more inhale breath. Exhale it out. Inhale the center. Whatever feels better in your legs, you try to get a little bend here. We're going to take a standing variation of a cat cow. So belly is going to pull. You're going to arch your back. Pull those shoulders back. Find a big Lift in your chest, heart lifts for the sky. Keep those knees open. Push into the knees to get a little more arch. Exhale, curl the spine, open behind the heart, through those shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Exhale, fold all the way, stretch out the back of those legs. We're going to walk to one side, stretching through the back of your forward foot. And then on the back foot, all I want you to do is drop the heel. You can take a bend in that front knee and then push off with the toes. Just stretching out your arches a little bit after being up on the toes. Two more. Walk into the other side. Find your stretch first. Just kind of hanging here with that straight leg in front. Then begin to bend the knee, and you can rock front to back. Dropping that heel, moving toward the toes. Three, two, and one. Inhale, center. Drop it down. Open up those knees. Inhale, come all the way up. Side body stretch. Switch sides. Exhale, shake it off. Woo! Awesome job, Pop Sugar Fitness. You guys are such warriors. You are so strong. Thank you for showing up, for sweating it out with me. Again, I'm Katie of Love Sweat Fitness. And if you take nothing else away from today, you need to know that you are so capable. You are so strong. You are so worthy of great things. Giving your 100% every day again, it's going to look different every day. It's going to look different from your best friend. It's going to look different from your random neighbor. Everyone's different. So you're showing up for yourself, for your health, for your mental health, physical health right now more than ever. We need this. Exercise scientifically boosts your endorphins. You will feel better. And every time you show up for yourself, even if it's for 10 minutes, if it's going for a little walk, showing up, that consistency, that builds motivation. That, that inspiration that you need to go a little bit more the next time, to feel accomplished, and to start crushing those goals that you guys have for yourselves. So congratulations. Awesome job being here today. Make sure you guys come check out all of my workouts at Love Sweat Fitness on Instagram, here on YouTube, wherever you're at. It was so awesome sweating with you guys today. Again, I'm Katie from Pop Sugar Fitness. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs>